Hello and welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Got another exciting video for you today. This will be my first battery teardown on the channel. Um, I usually don't do destructive testing. I used the Dr. Prepare battery in a previous, uh, some previous videos doing load capacity, things like that, uh, testing breakers and everything. Well, Dr. Prepare wanted me to take one of their batteries, cut it open and prove to you that it has low temperature cutout protection in it. So I'm gonna prove that this budget friendly battery with good capacity actually also has low temp cutout protection. So sit back, strap in and hold on. It's gonna be a good video today. So we'll go ahead and get this battery unboxed and opened up. As you can see, just a standard off the shelf dark repair battery. Nothing fancy, just regular stock from the warehouse. So check it out, make sure everything's the same as the last one, make sure there's no changes. And then I will get this one uh, busted loose. And we'll see what, uh, what it's made of. Extra bolts, nice foam packaging, manual, and then there's the battery. Let's get the plastic off of it, right there. Get it out of this box. There it is. Declare my work area, get right back with you. And for reference in the manual, their low temp protection, charging, 23 uh, cuts it out and then 41, it'll reinitiate charging. So I'm gonna use the bench power supply, but let me uh, go over this battery first. 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. If you haven't seen my other Dr. Prepare uh, review videos, I'll have a link in the description and also a link to where you can pick one of these up. So same as the last battery, PowerMax S48, same model number. DBT 12100 LFP S48. And just for posterity, there's the, there's the one I just unboxed. Let me reach right here behind me, just to show you. They're the same, same batteries. PowerMax S48, this is the one I've been using to run the inverter test and breaker test. And then this is the new one for today's video to cut open. So, See, identical batteries. Another second and I'll have it open and I'll clean up the mess and we'll get on with the testing. All right, I believe it is showtime now. I think it's going to pop loose now. Yes, finally. They do not want you in that thing. And I worked up a sweat getting this thing cracked open. There we go. Let me uh, clean up all my dust here so I don't get nothing in here. Wipe all this down and then we'll finish taking the whole cover off and look at everything in it. All right, time for the moment of truth. Get the rest of the lid off of here. There we go. Let's, uh, let me spin it around so we can see everything better. Then we'll go over all the components and see what's, uh, what's in there. Well, first thing I notice is it has a huge positive lead in it. I'll get you the gauge size or millimeter size in a minute. We got glued um terminals and multiple grounds i'll get you the size on that in a second too yeah very impressive for a budget battery already just the size of this cable that's nice okay so i pulled the temperature sensor we're going to check low temp cut off high temp cut off all that good stuff on the sensor so didn't bore you with cutting tape and digging digging glue off i took all the glue off that sensor so we get better contacts we can have a faster reaction for any safeties I'm gonna give you the BMS numbers and all that in a minute. So I've already got the charger hooked up right here. You can watch, I'm gonna reposition this for you though. Can y'all see that better now? All right, so we got the power supply hooked up. I'm charging, but constant current of seven amps. 
So we're gonna watch this charging charger right here when I mess with this sensor and everything. But before I get into that, it's got a six gauge, 200 degree jacket, uh, positive lead and three number 10, 200 degree jacket, negative leads. And those three uh, number 10s together equate to a number five AWG. And with a 200 degree jacket and this short run, that's capable of carrying a little bit over 200 amps. So with that said, let's get on to the main parts that y'all came here to see. Does this budget friendly battery have low temp protection? So I just pulled this out of the freezer, a Uline cold pack, colder than ice. It came out of a zero degree freezer. So I've got the sensor pulled and cleaned up. So I will put the sensor on this ice pack. I'm gonna insulate it from my body heat with this piece of foam and watch the charger over here. And it should cut out. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna delay out or how long it'll take to so cold soak this sensor, but we should see the current drop out on the charger and in a moment. So I'll do it real time, but uh, make sure I got good, good contact. Let's give it just a minute. And there you go. Seeing the current drop out right here. So the low temp protection works. I didn't have to do anything crazy with butane or any kind of cleaners. Just an ice pack shut it down. So let's take it back out of the ice pack. Right there. I'm going to warm it back up. And we should see our current come right back up. Awesome. That is awesome. Low temp protection and a budget battery. Y'all want to see that one more time, but a little faster? There it goes. That was real quick that time with that, uh, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Warm it back up. There she goes. Awesome. Low temp protection. Sweet. Now, we've checked the low temp. We know that works. So now let's uh, let's test the high temp. I've got the fan favorite here, the inverter killer. Uh, gonna run it off this uh, Ames inverter today, big 3,000 watt monster. So let's see if the old Ames 3000 watt will handle this inverter killer. So let me position it here so you can watch the watch the charge right here. When we get to its trigger temperature, all this will drop out just like on the low temp. So here we go. Well, that was pretty quick. That was real quick, considering as a hair dryer, not a heat gun. Very sensitive um, temperature sensor in this this unit, which is very nice. So let me. Uh, there we go. Cool it off. There she goes back to charging. What more could you ask for? I mean, that is that's awesome. I mean, that is a budget battery, with high and low temp protection, good construction. Look at that. I mean, it is built like a tank. So now that we know all the safeties work like it's supposed to, um, I'm gonna disconnect this charger. We we'll get a little closer look down at the welds on the cells, things like that. Just be completely thorough with the evaluation of this battery. Let's see if we can look at the bus bars real good down in here. Nice welds on the bus bar. All the balance leads down in there are glued to all their cells. Uh, Common leads are all glued down. I mean, just nice construction. Very nice construction overall. So, I don't see a thing wrong with this battery whatsoever. All right, I got you flipped around now so we can look at the part numbers on the BMS right here. There's the part number. Let me get to focus right here. I pulled up the specs on this BMS. That has a 200 amp BMS which is awesome. So you get low temp protection, high temp protection, and 200 amp BMS. Good wire, good build quality. Um, you know, what, what more could you ask for? And I have load tested dot repair battery in previous videos. I'll include that in the links in the description. 
I'm not going to load test this in a day because it's already a long video from all the all the stuff that's going on. So one more little, just looking around for any QR codes on the sales. I don't see any this easily accessible. This is as far as I'm disassembling this battery today. Um, this is viable for energy storage here since I'm completely off grid. So I'm stopping here, prove the point that it's got low temp protection, high temp protection. If you see my other videos, you know it'll handle the 100, 100 amp rated discharge, no problem at all. It'll go way above that 100 amp uh, discharge rate. So just a killer battery for a great price. I have links to Dr. Prepare's batteries in the description. So please check them out. Uh, you know, this is going to be hard to beat um, for the price, considering it's got low temp cutoff and all that. Uh, it's built good, nice foam. It was almost, I mean, it was almost impossible to get into. This thing was glued down. I mean, seriously. So it is high quality battery. I'm thoroughly pleased with this battery. I have nothing to complain about. It's an awesome battery at a great price. So there you have the, the teardown of the Dr. Prepare lithium iron phosphate, low temp, high temp protection, all the good stuff at a budget price. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I want to say special thanks to Dr. Prepare for sending this battery for me to disassemble and check out and prove to everyone that it does have low temp protection at a budget price. So check them out. I uh, appreciate y'all Dr. Prepare and thank all my viewers for watching. Appreciate y'all for hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate that if you're not subscribed. Appreciate the description as well. Thanks for watching the Off Command Homestead. Hope y'all have a wonderful day.